Hey, what's up, y'all? I am your girl, Candy, from the Real Housewives of Atlanta and just Candy, okay? And you are watching Wrap Up TV. And when I think about No Scrubs, I think about when my group, the Escape, was breaking up because Tiny and I, we were like, okay, what are we going to do? The group's breaking up. What are we going to do? So we decided we were going to do a duo, Tiny and myself. And we as I was like, yo, we need to write our own songs for, you know, when we present it to the label. No Scrubs was one of the songs we had did for ourselves. <laughs> and some kind of way, somebody played it for L.A. Reid. He loved the song. And we was like, okay, they can have it. Because in my mind, I can always write some more records. And I feel like some people be like, do you regret giving that record away? No, I do not. That was one of the best decisions I think I ever made in my life. That song has made history, and it really opened the doorway for my songwriting career to be able to write songs for other artists. I would definitely say that song would be one of, well, if not the most lucrative hit for me, one of them. I would have to say the most because it, at the time it had broke records like the most played song in history. So that was like major. But I had, you know, another big record that year, Bills, Bills, Bills for Destiny's Child. And then I had some more hits that were just like on a whole bunch of different albums. But no scrubs, I got the Grammy for that one. So that's why that one is still number one on my list. I actually talked to T-Boz a couple of days ago, last week. Any chance of more collaborations? Well, I definitely. Well, one thing I was telling her, I, she's working on a project right now, and um, she had me to come and rap. <laughs> she was trying to. Um, she had like a lot of different um, female boss chicks or celebrities that she was gonna put all together on one record, doing something different than what you know them for. And um, the song was hot, so I was like, "Where is my copy?" I need my copy of the record. So that's what we were talking about the other day, but. She's working on some more music, so I'm sure we'll collaborate again. When I hear Bills, 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 I think about working with Destiny's Child when they were, you know, before they were the women that they are now, you know. Um, it was a great experience working with them. I think at first, I think they were kind of iffy on me coming to the session when I first got there. But I ended up hitting it off really well with the girls and and they ended up flying me back to write some more songs. So I ended up having like five songs that I was on on that album. And so it was a great experience. They were really, really nice, really sweet. Well, I'm biased, okay? Um, I really love Dean. You know, um, Dean wrote... Um, Rude Boy, whatever, for Rihanna. She's wrote a lot of hits in the past year or whatever. But Dean and I used to work together. Actually, Dean, myself, Dream, all of us used to work in the, you know, right together in the same camp. So I'm always rooting for them. They may not know I'm rooting for them, but I'm rooting for them silently where I'm at. I'm like, wow. It's so amazing when you see somebody who they go from – how do I do this or how I get in the business or, or what I need to do to, you know, to get on, you know, like they just trying to make their way in. And then all of a sudden they taking over, they writing everything. It's like now everybody needs to come to them for advice on what to do. So I'm really happy for them.